Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to make cashew cheese sauce. What is cashew cheese sauce? It is a cheese substitute and not made it with the milk or any kinds of dairy. And uh, instead, what we are using is tada cashew nuts. You may be wondering how could cashew, you know, became like a cheese sauce, but the uh, cashew actually has a starchy things inside so when you cook it it thickens and uh, it makes very nice saucy consistency and uh, you also need to add uh, other uh, seasonings and uh, making cashew cheese sauce is really simple because you're just gonna put all these ingredients into the blender and blend it very smoothly and then just cook it on the low heat and ta-da! Then you can have a wonderful taste uh, cheese sauce. So let me just explain or demonstrate how you can make cheese sauce. First, uh, into the blender, I'm going to put a cashew nuts. This cashew nuts, I'm showing you one more time, is dried cashew nuts. The reason why I use dried raw cashew nuts, but and if you can't find the raw cashew nuts, you can use toasted. But I found that the raw cashew nuts makes a better taste, a little better. And uh, the reason why I'm using this dried one is because I have I'm using a Vitamix, which is a very powerful blender, and it can blend the nuts into very creamy consistency. So if you don't have Vitamix, then what you can do is soak this, uh, soak this cashew in the warm water for about two hours and uh, you can use that. Then you can use a regular blender and it will work fine. And uh, there, if you uh, type uh, vegan cashew cheese sauce on the internet or the YouTube, you may find the numerous recipes. Uh, some people use a potato and the carrots, and they use that as a base, and we all mix it with oil. But I found when I tried making potatoes and carrots to cheese sauce, it the texture is kind of slimy instead of creamy. So. I like using cashew nuts. First, dry cashew nuts. This is a half cup. Half cup cashew nuts. Putting into the blender. And uh, this is uh, yeast flakes. And uh, you can find it as a, at the health food store or on, on, you can purchase it online. And if you wonder how you can buy it, if you live in Korea, you can go to the site called the coupang.com and uh, you can buy these ingredients. And this is a one tablespoon of yeast flakes. One tablespoon of yeast flakes. And uh, this is sesame seed. This is pretty much optional, toasted sesame seed, but it gives a really nice flavor into it. So I like you eating that. This is about a tablespoon of sesame seed. And this is onion powder. Onion powder. And this is a half tablespoon, half tablespoon of onion powder. And uh, if you don't have onion powder in the area that where you live, uh, then you can what you can do is you can cook little piece of onions slightly cooked so it won't be like a, a spicy you know the raw onions are really spicy you know so you take the spice spiciness out and uh, you can put it in a blender so this is a half tablespoon of onion powder and you add it here and uh, this is garlic powder 
If you don't have a garlic powder, you can use a little bit of one clove of garlic, raw garlic. Okay? So I just said a garlic powder. And this is salt. Salt is about uh, one fourth teaspoon of salt. So it's not a lot. Four teaspoon of salt, sea salt, you know. And then there's a water. Water is about one cup. So usually when I make cashew cheese sauce, I always double the liquid amount. So if I put half cup of cashew, I put one cup of uh, water. If I put one cup of cashews, I put two cups of water. That's how I measure it. And uh, the, this extra seasoning, uh, depending on the purpose of the food, you can vary the you know the seasonings some people use uh, smoked paprika if you add a little bit of smoked paprika it really gives a good flavor and uh, when i was in uh, wildwood we also we used the uh, pimentos canned pimentos it gives a nice orange color so it make it uh, orangey-ish and yellowish in a nice color cheese sauce they made or um, but if you don't like the white if you want to keep it clear a yellowish you can add a turmeric or if not you can just keep it that way it will make a slightly yellowish cheese sauce and uh, here's is a lemon juice if you use you can use a lemon juice out of water or the this is uh, lemon juice from the butter, but this is organic lemon juice. About a tablespoon of lemon juice, but I'm going to add it later. So, I top it and starting at a low speed. blended wow you see steam coming out it's not really steam but you can see they are well blended so I think the Vitamix is one of the must item <laughs> if you like cooking you want to have Vitamix it's good for making smoothie excellent for making different sauce it makes very fine creamy sauce I really love love it and then I'm going to heat this up, okay, in the into the saucepan. I'm gonna pour this in. You see how how nice and creamy this is. Okay. Okay. Every drop of it. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to eat this up. Make sure you heat this up in the low heat. Because the cashew sauce, like I said, it has a starchy things inside. So when you start cooking, it tend to stick on the bottom. So if you heat it too fast, you will end up having a burnt bottom and uh, you will add an interesting smoked fla uh, flavor to the cheese sauce. So you don't want that. So it's good to use a thick pot, uh, the the pot, the layer, uh, uh, the bottom of the pot, 
It's better to be thick. Yeah. You are. And then you can see it's star cooking from the edges, start bubbling, and then you gently mix it. And it won't take you know long. This is very quick and easy sauce to make. My husband love he loves to eat this with uh, his nacho chips. And uh, I also use this for, you know, when I make uh, tofu quiche or the pizza, on top of pizza, and uh, anything that requires the cheese sauce. And uh, one thing also you need to remember is the cheese sauce you see now, now it looks, you know, it becomes, it's, it's sticking as you can see and uh, if you want like a stretching like a real melted cheese you can also add a pop, a tapioca flour and uh, that can make, actually make it like a melting melted cheese consistency but you don't really need the tapiocas and uh, like I said, you know, depending on what the purpose of your original, you know, real food that you're gonna cook it with, you can vary, vary the, you know, sauce. It's almost done. Now it's thickened, and then you add the lemon juice. I'll put the half. Half a uh, tablespoon first. And not and see how what it's like. And uh, you may see this is like a creamy thick consistency but if you cool it and if you keep it in the refrigerator it will thicken even more it hard it gets hardened in as it cools down so if you're using it for pasta you may need more water to it because it may be like a creamy like a pasta sauce but when the food cools down it will thicken so it, when you if you're cooking with the pasta and it doesn't look really good and when it's when it cools down so you have to adjust the amount of water like I said again all depends on what you're gonna do uh, with this cashew sauce you have to adjust the recipe a little bit okay mm. I think a lemon juice, half tablespoon is enough. I guess that lemon juice is very powerful. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use this. And uh, here, let me bring it to the, to the stage and show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like when it's done. You can see the, it was pourable, but now see how it thickens, right? If you want to make a sliceable uh, cashew cheese, then the one way you can do you can add a cornstarch and cook it like this, and put it in a refrigerator for until it's complete cools down. Then I may have to tell you how much you know cornstarch you should add, but I will do that later. I have to show you that later. Later, but this is what we came up with. You can see? Does it look yummy? <laughs> it's a white color, like a creamy color one, so it's good for pizza. 
and uh, and uh, here. You want to try? Mm. It smells like nut. <laughs> I'm going to bring. I take some and I uh, will give it to my husband and see what he says about that. I need the food taster. Come and get some. I know you can't eat this, but this will go into my husband's mouth. And see what it. Hmm. So, you want me to try this? Let's yeah. see what it tastes like. Okay, taste number one. There's number two. <laughs> taste number two. Ooh, nice. It's a little like cheese. What's mm. missing? What's missing? I taste the love, so um, I don't think anything's missing. Love actually. food? Yes. <laughs> well, for Americans, you know how salty and the sour Americans the eat? Onion, so, um, garlic, I taste garlic. If you're using it with the vegetables, you can add a little bit more, just a little bit more salt. There's, there's some salt in there. I could use a Actually, actually, it's pretty good because if you have it with chips, yeah, I think it'd be good with that. Yeah, it is. It, the, the, the way it is cooked now is just good with salt. You don't need any extra. So, but with the vegetable, because vegetable has, you know, sometimes a blend flavor. Hey, why are you eating more? Well, I said test number one, right? <laughs> it's that good. <laughs> this is test carrots. number two. I think this would be good with carrots. Ah. Um, yeah, celery stick mm. or carrot sticks. This, this thing, um, was, was, did you use nuts on this? Yeah, cashew nuts. Okay, because the I can't really taste the the nuts. I mean, this blender it seems to, to really blend it really completely, mm -hmm. so that it doesn't leave any a lot of grit or grain in there. It's very smooth. Yeah, that's mm. why we like very to creamy. use a uh, fighter mix. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, remember to soak your cashews. Mm -hmm. If you soak it, then you can have a similar consistency. Oh man, did you use a lot of oil in this? There's no oil. No oil? Mm-hmm. Also, oh, it's healthy. Yeah. <laughs> no, zero, yeah, I don't think I need any more, zero uh, cholesterol. Fat. Zero cholesterol. Zero cholesterol. Oh, man, this is good. Mm-hmm. So why don't more people know about this? Well, like I said, there's several and the recipes available online. People use... Uh, That's number three, is that okay? <laughs> hey, people remember it's healthy, right? Various uh, recipes. So and um, yeah. this is a really basic cashew sauce in a recipe. And... Uh, Yeast flakes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you make macaroni and cheese, for example, I will use uh, add a cayenne pepper mm -hmm. and um, you didn't put any cayenne pepper in this too. or red pepper things like that. You say red pepper? Red pepper. Oh, red. I'm sorry, red pepper. Red bell pepper. Okay. Not red, spicy red one. Pepper. Red pepper to give a color. Ah. What about turmeric? Would you use turmeric? Turmeric just ch uh, change the color into more yellowish. I hear turmeric's good for um, inflammation. Yeah, turmeric is good for inflammation, but yeah. you don't want, if you t put too much turmeric in it, mm -hmm. and you can have a curry flavor. <laughs> What's that? Three taste tests? <laughs> so I think the fourth one's a charm. Or is it the third one? I forget. Well, third you can one's see. pretty charming. I think the fourth one's going to be amazing. Mmm. Two. <laughs> you guys got to try this. This is really good. I can I can taste this like on a well I don't know like pizza maybe this is more like a almost like a dip style. I'd probably do it's dip. good for dip or quiche maybe you could do it with it for quiche or yeah I would say uh, we can use it with a quiche or the other thing mm. we can mix with the uh, celery and broccoli and cheese mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah, you can use it for broccoli cheese sauce. Mm. It has so many different ways you can use it. 
Okay, I need to stop now. <laughs> I'm here all night. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this was cashew cheese sauce, and uh, I would say it was very good cheese sauce. And so, if you are at home, if you have nuts, I want you to try. And uh, remember, God wants you to be healthy and well. So this will help you along the way. And uh, we'll see you in the next show. Bye.